everybody? This is your boy DJ Mixmaster, and welcome back to Soul Calibur 3 to the Chronicle of the Sword mode. Last video, we ended up starting Chronicle 16, and for the first time, we have failed a Chronicle. So, we're back, and hopefully, this time I won't suck like I did before. So, we're gonna go ahead and get started, and since the introduction and all of that was set up in the last video. We're just going to go ahead and move past it and get straight to the chronicle. Okay. So, for this one, we're going to use the same same three. So, I'm going to use Roger, Fayette, and Barbara. So, for this time, we're going to switch Fayette back to her... Kunai Discipline. Just simply because... I need... Dependability. Familiarity. I need all of that. Because like I said in the last video, we only have just the three. So hopefully this one goes way better than the last one. I guess the one thing I hate is that I mean I know I did all of these by random picking my characters but uh I mean it was it was probably going to turn out this way anyway because if you followed this series you know as we've leveled up our characters we've gotten different skills or different jobs so that I can get my characters but the best job for this game would be uh, the sword master Decisive. and the sword master is just as you think it is it has all the disciplines and I could swap to any of them the only problem, I mean, the only thing is, there isn't a Souls character that does, you know, that. I mean, technically there is, but they wouldn't let trust your noble that particular character, because that'd be kind of maybe broken or something, I guess. Who knows? Effort. But, Swordmaster, I could swap to I'm any any different job or oh, any different oh. weapon type I could possibly need to get through. A chronicle but the problem is is you have to get all the other jobs leveled up to 20 or, or I think past 20 for sure I think it is 20 all so obviously that's sort of end game Fight. But we've already created my characters. We're already gonna have them leveled up and all of that, so It sucks, but you know make do with the best I Could have went through this mode and gotten everything and then you know could have redid it and did the series starting from that point But I felt like it probably would be better just doing it just straight out from the beginning Fight. I mean, which, which it is, <laughs> Woo, okay. How did you expect to win? All right, guys, stay on point for this one. So I'm trying to think. In order for me to get the Swordmaster, yeah, let's see. If I would have decided to level up 
some of the characters that came along with this, along with my own custom characters, I might have been able to get it starting around maybe Last Chronicle, maybe this one. Because ra uh, raising up the c characters already in-game also counts towards leveling up the particular jobs, but... At the beginning, it, 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 that would have been fine because the beginning set of characters, you know, uh, Arenas, Reese, Maiga, Gyrido, Abelia, you know, that's fine. But with this set, I mean, uh, what is it? Juan, Luca and, and I forget the, uh, the ninja's name, that would have been fine. But Wan Lin would have been, I think that's her name, would have been hard because she uses the steel fan. And I absolutely hate the steel fan. The steel fan and, uh, I'm trying to think. Maybe the Greaves Edge. Maybe. The Greaves Edge is sort of fine. I really just, uh, I guess you could say the, 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 the Steel Fan and the Sickle, sort of, I hate. If the Sickle would have worked kind of more like Ivy's style, you know, of Whip Sword, then it might have been okay, but it's just, it just feels off to me. And then the, the Steel Fan, I think, just sucks. The moveset sucks, and there's no range. Oh, and also the staff. Hate the staff. But the steel fan, I hate the worst. Yeah, I hate the steel fan worse. In, in order, it's steel fan followed by the staff followed by the sickle as the three weapon types in this mode that I hate. I mean, for those of y'all that, you know, hopefully, maybe, you know, I might be convinced y'all to play Soul Calibur for this mode. Some of you may be reliving nostalgic moments. For those of you who possibly have had Soul Calibur 3 and played this game mode, what is y'all's favorite, you know, weapon types? What is, uh, type of weapons and characters you like to use for this mode? Do you like this mode at all? Do you think it's fun? Do you think it's boring? I mean, let me know. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. If we could hopefully not have anyone die, like up, up until we get to the boss, that will be fine. But this is where we had the problem last time, so... Hopefully we'll do a lot better. But let me get back to what I was saying before. I think I may have mentioned this earlier, but like I said, I didn't get this game purely for this game mode. I got it mainly because it was so caliber. But, you know, Decisive battle. I started playing this. Well, I started this mode with the perception. Uh, I don't know if perception is the right word, but the thought that this was probably like the weapons master mode from the last game, Soul Calibur 2. And to say I was pleasantly surprised. I have no interest in speaking with the dead. If all you know is violence. Battle 1. Fight. Okay, so you caused me problems, so we gotta get through you. Okay. Why don't you hurry up and disappear? She was the main issue, so so I think the last one I ended up 
losing Roger, so... Okay, we're doing better. Battle 2. Fight! <laughs> You want me to hurt you some more? Whew! Okay. So, so far, so good. Fortify this. And then we're going to do something different that we didn't do the last time. We're only going to face off against one of you. Instead of waiting for both of you, we're going to only fight one of you. So, hopefully... If Roger does go down, unfortunately, we still have the other two. And hopefully one of them can take down the next person. The Almighty Ones have granted you a sword to cut your own path. A futile effort. I'll gladly lend a hand if you want to die. Battle 1. Fight! Okay. You want me to hurt you some more? Ah. All right, so far so good. Woo! Let's let you heal up just a bit. It'll take a while for this individual to take down the tower. All right. Okay, we defeat this person. There's only three more people left to go. Whew! Come on. Got this. Two heroes finally meet under the star of destiny. I suggest you run away quickly. I'll show you my true strength. Battle one. Okay, I gotta watch out for this one. Ah! Cause the Wu Dao 
It's just like my weapon gives health on contact. I got her extremely weak. So, let's go. Your sight irritates me. Battle 2. Fight. Chewie, go ahead and die. Okay. That look suits you well. So we gotten past where we failed last video, so only up from here. So then we take care of this one. And I can't remember if she's going to move. I don't think so. Yeah, she's going to stay there. And this one will end up running as soon as we attack this one. So, whew, okay. We'll do that, and then that. Okay. Okay. Whew. We'll let you attack. So this one's separate, and the one that was in in this tower is going to be a problem. The one who came on horseback, not so much. We're going to see if we can do it with two. We'll see. But yeah, first one's going to be a problem, I think. The second one, not so much. The first one is using the katana and shuriken. And the second one is using a tambourine. And if I'm not mistaken, the one that's using the... No, I think she's... Uh, the one who's using the shuriken, I think it's just using a weapon... Decisive battle. Oh, I think. I was about to say, she's probably using the one that has a little bit longer range, but I don't think so. I think she's using the one that heals. And then, of course, the tambourine, short range, she has to come close. So, separate is going to be annoying, but we will get through it. Quest to search for the ultimate sword. I suggest you run away quickly. 
You have a very irritating face. Okay, so there she's coming in. I have to watch out for that. Ah! Okay. Let's settle this fair and square. Battle two. Fight. It's over. It's over. Ring out. Fight! So slow. Yep, you're not throwing that on me! So slow. I do not! Yeah! So Whew! Amazing! How did you expect to win? Okay! All right. Gotten through the second hardest part of this chronicle. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing. We're only gonna we're gonna go with two. And hopefully that'll be enough. If not, we'll wait for the two to heal and then we'll go with all three. Let's bring you so we can help with the breaking of this, and then we'll send you back. Now this guy Kagami, he he's using the same thing as uh, the se as our last opponent using the katana and shuriken, and of course, I think the one he uses is the one that gives the 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 uh, slight range boost. So uh, we have to be careful about that, along with the fact that of course all attacks are going to be guard break. And almost all attacks from the Katana and Shuriken can combo. Not into each other, kind of like, like a maxi, but after the initial break, there's going to be at least maybe another two to three attacks that come out of a combo if he decides to initiate one. So, it's going to do damage. So, all we have to do... It's just beyond the offensive. Luckily for me, I have a long range weapon myself, and so hopefully that could help push us through. Cause, whoo! Decisive battle. All right, come on, come on, come on. 
Come on. Whew. Entrust your noble soul in your sword. I suggest you run away quickly. Do you want to die in that battle? Battle one. Fight. <laughs> Okay. Okay. I'm okay. Ah! All right, it's up to you. I'd rather defeat him now. You have a very irritating face. Come on, Ferret, let's go. No! If he would have, oh, if he would have rolled into that, if he would have rolled into that, if he would have rolled into that, that was a victory. Ah! Oh. Alright, we came close, so let's wait for the two to heal and we'll take all three. Ugh. Trust your noble soul in your sword. I suggest you run away quickly. What do you want, you bastard? Battle one. Fight! <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay, I'm getting sick of you. I hate this chronicle. I do. Ah! What is it? There's definitely something strange. The Empire's defense is too prepared. It's as if they knew we were coming. What do you mean? The battle's up till now. The Emperor's real objective wasn't General Girdo. Those rebels last time. The ones that seemed strange. Those weren't rebels. Those were agents of the Emperor. sure about that ending but I think when we got ambushed there were a few soldiers that had ran off they weren't soldiers thinking you know about rebellion they were ordered by the Emperor to act as rebels to try to convince Roger 
to continue the fight. That what he was doing for the Emperor was right. At least that's what I got from it. Anywho, we finally got through Chronicles 16 and it only took a second attempt. Thank God. So with that, I believe it's a good place to take a break. Next video, we will move on to the next Chronicle. So like and comment on the video. Subscribe for more gameplay. And with that, see ya. Peace.